we got change, man. Uh, where I became a man, I turned from a boy to a man, was in Call of Duty lobbies and going to school and getting the shit roasted out of me. Um, I know a lot of you can relate. And Chains is going to let us know his experiences in high school, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get into this, bro. I'm going to keep touching my nose up, bro. It's fucking cut up something, bro. I don't know. So that's what I'm going to be doing over here. Man, you'd be the 47th president of the United States and you'd still get flamed in school. Facts. It's just inevitable. It could be your haircut, your clothes, and bro, even when there's nothing to roast, somebody's gonna try and spit out some bullshit anyways. <laughs> hey, yo, why does Carl's face look like Spider-Man's left nut? <laughs> yo, Damn, but the thing is, everyone laughs, though. Nuts look like. And bro, when I was in middle school, all my clothes were hand-me-downs I got from my neighbor, and this motherfucker just did Mine were hand-me-downs from my brother, bro. Didn't want to see me win bro because i was getting piles of v-neck shirts and jeans that didn't even fit and not only did my neighbor have no drip but uh -huh. dude was 10 years older than me so every fit <laughs> i made was just a decade too late yo facts bro what was that shit that like rhino thing oh like dc yo y'all know dc bro okay i gotta i got retainers in bro that's why i got a list all right Y'all remember DC, bro? That shit was fucking crazy, Wait, bro. And pulling up to school and that <laughs> shit had me feeling like a rotisserie chicken. The way I was getting cooked at a 360 degree angle, bro. But my fit wasn't even the only thing that was outdated. Because my phone looked like the first phone ever created. And it acted like it too. I mean, I would have Yo, to click the screen five. Uh, when was the first time y'all got a phone, bro? I remember when my brother first got, like, a phone, bro. Honestly, bro, these retainers are pissing me off. I remember when my brother got his first phone, bro. Like, I, I'm, I'm five years younger than my brother. My brother's first ever phone was a Shrek phone, bro. I shit you fucking not. It was a flip phone with, like, an antenna. But I think they, like, added, like, an extra one to, like, make it Shrek. It was, the, bro, it was the dumbest piece of shit ever. It was lime green. Bro, that shit was so ass, bro. <laughs> bro. My first phone, I didn't get my first phone until, like, middle school, bro. I remember in fifth grade, everybody, like, we had, like, a bring your phone to the class day. Like, it was, like, one of those things that, like, if you were good, you got, like, a reward. That was one of our things. Everyone brought their phone, bro. I brought my iPod. I was playing Nazi zombies on my iPod. Like, I, whatever, bro. Like, kids be getting fucking phones in first grade now. But, like, I don't know. Is that something to even be mad about? Because, look, let's be realistic, bro. The country li we live in is fucking disgusting. It's nuts, bro, right? If I have a kid, I, I want to be able to reach my kid at all fucking times, bro, right? Safety is number one priority in this day of age, bro. So, like, I understand that. But I'm just saying, bro, when I was a kid... I ain't have that shit, man. Have times and then send a prayer to the heavens just to turn that shit on. And only real G's know the pain of having to whip out an old ass phone around someone else. Like, I remember this one time a girl came up to me and asked if she could add me on Snapchat. And when I gave Damn. her my phone, my shit crashed, bro. Uh, I think your phone just ran out of battery. Wow. Oh, <laughs> don't worry. Sometimes you just gotta... <laughs> yeah, here you go. Uh, actually, I have a boyfriend. So what? Wait, I'm wait, just gonna... wait, no, wait, wait, I'm wait. Gonna... What the fuck? And ever since that day, that phone was my number one op, bro. So much so that the next time a girl came up and asked for my Snapchat, I, st I started fucking malfunctioning, bro. Hey, c can I get your Snapchat? Uh, uh no. Oh. Uh, okay. Oh uh, no, no, no. It's just, it's just cause uh, I don't have Snapchat. Oh well, uh. what, what about your phone number? I actually don't even have a phone. You don't have a phone? Oh well, well I, d I did, but th then my dog oh, ate it. Oh you know my saying? God, is your dog okay? Uh, sorry, I, I don't even have a dog. Bro, I'm not even lying. I don't, I don't think any one. girls actually then, uh, woke up to uh, me and asked who ate me for your phone. Oh, fucking, <laughs> <or> number, <laughs> I <bro>. did. <laughs> is that fuck? Uh, Why do I gotta make all the movies, bro? Wait, was that? Nope. Like That's I fuck, do man. appreciate all the hand-me-downs, cause without them, I would be walking through the school butt booty naked. But to be honest with you, if it was a choice, I would have rather been butt booty naked, cause what? these V-Nex were straight girl repellent. Like there's birth control, there's condoms, and then there's V-Nex, bro. <laughs> oh, shit, I, I mean you could still pull a lot while wearing a v-neck but it's just like it, it's just gonna be dudes and just when you think i couldn't have been more roastable my mom will be like oh sweetie you need a haircut no 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 please mom no no, no. <laughs> 
My mom used to take me to this shop that gave out $1 haircuts, bro. And these motherfuckers were straight speed. Bro, my mom always used to take me to the salon, bro. The fucking salon, bro. Mom, I want a fucking skin fade. All right? I don't want to. I don't want to go to the salon, man. But it's because my mom always knew those hairdressers, bro. I know y'all was the same way, bro. From I know these cuts. it, bro. They'd be asking what kind of cut you want while cutting your hair. And by the time you get to show them the cut you want, your shit is already done, bro. And my mom must have not been tipping them either, considering the fact that every time I went back, the cuts kept getting worse and worse. Until one time, I walked out there with my head bleeding, like I asked for a two on the sides, and she hit me with a negative two. Now, don't what? get me wrong. When I pulled up to school wearing the most abominable fit known to man with the atrocious haircut and shit, Shitter phone combo. I got my shit roasted, flamed, grilled. Bro, well, hold on. Let me show you this real quick, bro. There was a period in my time. A period in my time. That's a new one. Uh, there was a time where I did this haircut. All right. I was in sixth grade. All right. It wasn't this long though. Hold on. It was like this. It was like this, but without whatever the fuck this is right here. That's what I had at one point in time, bro. Yo, do I go back to it, bro? Do I go back to that, bro? Oh, fuck. It would just be like this, bro. Good, right? That's pretty good, bro. Shit, you can't even see it. Just like that, bro. That's my hair. <laughs> Yo, bro. I was a different type of breed. A tade, deep fried, and then thrown into the goddamn microwave. Like the type of flaming that has you going home and just taking an extensive look in the mirror, questioning if you should legally change your name to Albert and flee the country. But somehow, this motherfucker Carl got flamed even harder than me just for being Carl. Like, whenever a friend group is created, there's just one dude selected to be a punching bag for the yep. entire group. And you know, I feel Bruce bad up. and shit, but like... It's better Carl than me, bro. So I'm gonna slip a few jabs in if I have to. Yo, what the fuck is Carl eating, bro? Oh, oh, hell no. Nah. Wait, whoa, whoa. Chains is eating the exact same thing. Nah, what? <laughs> Your shit looks like it tastes like cardboard. <laughs> With honey mustard. <laughs> wow, how did you know? Like, Carl can't even get a little chuckle out without getting crucified, bruh. <laughs> Damn, he's fucking that yeah, shit. Yeah, bro. Watch, watch, watch. Oh, it's like he hasn't eaten in <laughs> <shit. laughs> bro. <laughs> oh, hell Shut no. the fuck Carl, up, I know Carl. you're not laughing. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. You're built like SpongeBob brown pants. You, you look like a malnourished Santa Claus, bro. Like, <laughs> god damn, that's a face only a mother can love. Well, what did I do? Now, getting roasted around your boys that's is tough, fuck. but that pales in comparison to the pain and embarrassment of getting roasted in front of your crush, bro. Yo, Chains, what did you get on the science test? I I'm not gonna lie, I got like a 76. <laughs> I'm surprised you're not smarter with that big ass head of yours. <laughs> Good one, Joe. No, like for real, your shit is massive. Well, like the sheer amount of brain you could fit in that bitch should make you Einstein. You look like you should be pulling 10,000 IQ plays right now. You look like you got the solution to world hunger somewhere what? hidden in that big ass noggin. Like, like, how do you even stand up straight with that absolute cranium for a head? But I remember this one time <laughs> I got my shit flamed so hard in front of an entire audience that I was brought to tears. No. I, I mean, I was six. I was six years old, and the day was December 24th, Christmas Eve. So my mom brought me and my brother to this improv play, and as we sat and waited for the show to begin, this little elf walked up to us like, Hey, do, do you guys want to be a part of the show? Yeah, let, let's uh, do it. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> and once the show began, they called me and my brother up to the stage and asked us a very simple question. So, uh, what do you guys want for Christmas? Oh, I want a Minecraft sword and a creeper stuffy. And, uh, well, what about you, little man? And as I looked into that crowd with dead silence my brain stopped braining bro hey uh don't worry it can be anything um ah uh, shit uh, i wanna um um just 
kid. Is he gonna get? What do you want? I want uh, by Santa. Man, I, I, just, I, 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 I wanna. I, I don't really know what I want. Yo, who brought this fucking dumbass on stage, bro? Get the fuck out of here. Now, now I'm paraphrasing. I, I mean, I was six. I don't remember exactly what he said, but that's what it felt like. And Aww. as we walked back to our seats, I was super embarrassed. But as the show started, it was actually pretty funny, and people had probably forgot about it by now. But ten minutes into the show, a character walks on stage with some goofy ass buck teeth. Yo, this guy looks stupid as hell. <laughs> oh, shit. And this dude proceeds to absolutely cook six-year-old me with no remorse. No. Hey, what's your name? Um, uh, I, I don't know. What? Uh, okay, uh, how's your day? D day? D day. W what the fuck is a day? I, I don't know. <laughs> what, what, what do you know? No. no. That's just it. I don't know. I just don't know. Shit, I don't think I know anything. And that shit had the whole audience laughing harder than ever. And as I looked around, my brother was laughing and even wow. my mom was you laughing. Your own family, and it was bro. this very moment that I had hit rock bottom. And at the age of six, I realized I would be put on this earth simply to suffer. And and it made me cry, bro. I cried Aww. in the middle of this theater. And the next morning I woke up and it was Christmas. And under the Christmas tree, I saw the Christmas? best gift of all. It was a Bob Pocket tee from Chains Club Doll Shop. That's right. It what? No way, bro. What? Anyways, uh, make sure to sub, bro. <laughs>